Okay, well, if you saw the other build, uh, the other video of me putting together a soldier, you could pretty much skip this, I guess, because this is going to be the same thing, just with a different color guy. Before we get that far, what we will do is I'll show you that last piece on the Mountain Recon snow sled, snow bike, snow speeder, what do you want to call it? Is it snow speeder? No, isn't it? It's like a little too Star Wars. All right, we put this piece on this side. We've got to get our packs on it. Pack on this side, which these were in with the man. These were in with the, the mini fake. They were not in with the actual, which came, you know, packaged together, but they were not in the, those, the bag with the other pieces. They were in with the mini fake. Now, interestingly, that's, that's kind of odd. I don't know how I feel about that. It's not really, I can't get it to go that last oomph. Yeah, it pushes itself out. Okay. They don't really line. They don't click all the way on. See what I mean? You got to kind of center them yourself. The old modeler in me. Well, from when I was a kid, would like to take my exacto knife and trim that down a touch, and I may just to make it a little sl slicker. Um, they stand relatively nice. Okay, I think I think this is a heck of a good-looking figure, a heck of a good-looking vehicle rather, and um, a really simple build. What did it take me? Ten minutes? Fifteen with opening the packages? Come on, that's nothing. All right, let's get into this minifig again, just for the heck of it. We know that we start with our hips, wherever they happen to be. Hello, hips. There they are. Good. Here are our little... Da -da -da -da. The white on white, of course, of this is not going to work, whereas it worked really well with the with the vehicle. Uh, now we need our pelvis. I am not a doctor, so don't hold me to my terms. There we go. I heard a click. I love when I hear a click. Now we need our belt, which I'm not seeing... This seems to be the piece that they want me to put here, even though it doesn't actually match, if you notice. But this is where it's going to go. This is the only piece we have to go there. Um, the piece in the other minifigure was that color exactly. If you check that video, you'll see. Let me see. I don't really get a click with this either. And I feel like I should have... Well, it doesn't say I should get a click. It says I should get a click when I put the torso on. Let's put his torso on. Oh, hello. Line up, please. Whoa! See, that's what I don't like about this figure. This is what happened with the other one. You think you've got it. You think you hear it click. You think it's all together. And it just flies out of your hand. Which is really aggravating. Let's see. Let's see if we can get that click this time. See, that sucker just doesn't want to go. I feel like I need a pair of pliers. And I should not need pliers to put together a minifig. I do not feel like that's really in there. I'm going to run with it. See that. No, even the little pieces here don't look like they're lined up right. Can you guys see that? See how they're not really in? Like this feels like it should be down further. See that's on. See but how much see now you see how much space I have here. So now if I just push, it doesn't go up. It pushes that piece up. Let's pull it down again. I'm following the directions, guys. Wow. That sucker just does not want to go in there. I can't believe this figure is gonna take me as long as the bike. So I can pull it apart. Okay, I can pull it apart again. I see that I have two notches on the torso and two slits in the hips. And they're obviously supposed to line up so that you can turn the figure. But you see that comes apart immediately. Wow. I hear the clicks. I hear it unclick. Is that a word? Yep, that just does not want to make this nice snug connection. What was that song? Wiggle it? Just a little bit. No, I can't say Bobby Bob. Rob Bass would kick my butt if he heard me singing on video. Or at least make fun of me publicly. <laughs> so what's your favorite toy to build? Are you a Lego guy? Are you a Mega Bloks guy or girl? Are you a um, Are you a Flintstones kid? That has nothing to do with this. What am I talking about? I also noticed with the arms I had a little trouble. On the other figure, figuring out which one, if you notice on these directions, I don't know if you can see clearly because this camera is great, but it's not really close up. There's a little yellow circle around each joint in the direction it's supposed to be in. That still doesn't really tell me when I look at the pieces how that's going to work, and I'll show you why that is a problem. Because if you look at this, you see the little ball, which is that piece. This would be the right arm. It's definitely the right arm. So which one's the right hand? 
Give me right hand, please. There's right hand, okay. All right, so we have right hand and right arm, right hand and right elbow. So we gotta fit them together. And they need to go, see the way that's, that moves immediately? You gotta go all the way in, hang on. Ah, that was nice, that felt right. You know, when you get it in there right, you just know. <laughs> God, I need help, people. Send your complaints to rob at alternativeminds.com. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be happy to hear from you. Or you can send them to Chuck at alternativeminds.com. Questions, suggestions, tips, tricks, death threats, all that stuff, all of it. Write the Alternative Minds address. I'd be happy to answer as many as I can. Well, it looks like we have a left arm. That's a left Huh? See, that doesn't look like a left arm to me. Does that look like a left arm to you? I mean, it works with the picture. We're going to run with it, folks, and we'll see how it looks when it goes together. So we got our arms, and we got to do our legs. Hope you don't hear my neck cracking. La, 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 la. This looks nothing like that. Yay. Okay, there's the foot. Okay, see how they do it on here? They, they tell you they tell you which direction to put the foot in, according to the directions. And then, again, this, like, weird shaping. You just got to go by shape. It is odd to me having, you know, this is the only kit. Mega Bloks is the only kit I've ever had to put a minifig together. Um, it is kind of weird. It's nice in a way, but it's also, I can't imagine that these are going to stay together very well forever. We're going to find out, I guess. Uh, they remind me a lot more of some of the minifigs I had when I was very young. In that you can see the pin hinge in the knee. You can see how it's, you know, how it's put together, which is kind of nice. And I do feel like I probably have a better chance of fixing this if it broke. Whereas a Lego minifig, break it, and, you know, good night. I've never had any lock gluing those back together. If you have, again! Send us a line. Drop us a line. Let us know. I obviously, from this video, am not a toy modifier. That's not what I do. I think that's fairly obvious. Now they're telling me that my leg, my right leg, needs to have my holster. Because there's a little, a wee little knife that connects to that. I think you can also connect the gun if you want to. But it's the wee little knife that kind of sits there without a case. There we go. That slides on nicey nice. Put that to the side. Where are we now? We're we're up to step eight already. My goodness gracious. Okay. Right leg. See, now here it comes into play again. That feeling like the torso is not connected to the waist. See? There it goes, coming apart in my hands. I don't like that. And I'm really not finding a way around it. Can I twist and get it in there right? No. Something about the way this fits together just doesn't really feel secure. And I, I hate to say it because I really like the set. But this assembly is this is the second one I've done. And I'm having the exact same problem with both. I do not feel like the hips connect to the torso in a way that, that's satisfying. The click just isn't, the click that I'm looking for just isn't there. And it's probably some trick that I'm not getting. But I'm reading the directions and it's not telling me any special thing to do to make it work it essentially says if it don't fit force it which we all know is the nature of everything we do um see like i feel like the hips are out too far oof so how many of you made it to comic con this year and what did you see that you loved have you been emailing us have you been asking us questions about our coverage have you been saying hey what happened to this you didn't get there what's the matter with you people I'm about to take this off camera and bite through it to get it to go where I want it to go. Yeah. These minifigs are a little iffy to me. But, again, as you can tell by my level of proficiency, I'm probably right on the edge of the age limit here. Calendar year is 43. Ability, 12. Man, not loving that. I think I got the hip, yeah, I got the hips right. I got the rather the torso's connected to the hips now, it's just the leg that's not in correctly. And you can feel it when it's not in, you can tell. It just doesn't feel right. It feels like you just got hit bad in football. It feels like you took a bad hit. And I think we've, well, most of us have been there at least once. All right, now hands, obviously, you just pay attention to which way the thumb is. I think it's pretty easy to figure out which one's your left and right. But you gotta get that shoulder in. You gotta get that shoulder in. 
all the way or it looks really weird. Take the time to get it in there correctly. See that? I like a figure that looks natural when you position it. I had a real problem with the marble. What were they, four inch, three and a half? I don't even know. This over articulation that, you know, I wish I, I say to everybody, I wish they had shipped it with a tube of crazy, crazy glue so I could just position him and he'd look right. That was one where the instep had a hinge, the ankle had a hinge, the wrist had a hinge. It was just crazy. I felt like I was using a marionette without strings. This, I will say, these joints are tight. When you get them set up, they are tight. They feel like they're going to stay. It feels like if I set them up, you know, running, he's going to stay running. See, but see that hip? That hip is not right. Can you see that? I can't get that hip to line up right. Let's move the arms out of the way a little bit. So what do we have? We have knee, hip, waist, shoulder, elbow, and the head goes on in one piece. But because it's a ball joint, you kind of get a good... Uh, a good amount of articulation. You can spin the head around, you can tilt it, stuff like that. These look backwards. They're not. The thumb's on top like it's supposed to be. So yeah, I mean, I got... Oh, weird. All right. Oh, I made this mistake the other day. The harness has to go on first, even though they put the head on first in the picture. If you put the head on first, you will take the head back off to put the harness on. You have been warned. Trying to do this quick and easy in a one shot thing. You want to make sure you do that. I think somehow I feel like I put his hands on backwards. I really do. Again, you all your letters and complaints and <laughs> death threats, please send them to alternativeminds.com. Chuck at alternative minds or rob at alternative minds. We both love to hear from you. Now, interestingly, oh, okay. See, now that's where those directions stop for the minifig directions, the ones that are included with the actual minifig. They stop right there. If you go back to the Mountain Recon set directions, they show you, again, how he goes together. But this time, how to put together the gun, which was not shown in the minifigure packet I had. Where to strap his ammo pack on, or his medical kit, whatever it is, his pouch. Gotta have some pouches, right? If you're a comic fan, you know that pouches are the bane of our existence as comic book fans. Pouches, pouches everywhere. What we got here? Okay, the gun goes together fairly simply. It's interesting that they give you this part of the gun, and then these are the extras, so I guess we have a bunch of different gun models. I have not seen any different models. It's been the same gun both times. I'm, I'm assuming it's an M16 or an MP5. I'm not quite sure. Again, complaints, questions, letters. I'd love to get them. Off camera. Slit with a knife I shouldn't use to open a package. My scout master would take away my totem chip card if he was around. Anybody who gets that reference. Oh, tell me about your summer camp. Mine was Yagu. Great Boy Scout camp. Actually got to return as an adult, too. Much more fun as an adult than it was as a Boy Scout. Got to sit around the campsite, drink coffee. Uh, it looks like a collapsible stock. I can't tell which side. Yeah, it goes. Yeah, it looks like that. That uh, That's probably an MP5. I don't think that's an M16. Or an AK. I don't know. I'm too far out of the game. <laughs> I'll check the literature just to see. It didn't say it in the small package. Maybe it says it with the. Uh... I tell you, these they they look good. They're they're not the easiest. They're not the sweetest build. There is some work involved, as you just saw, but they look good. Let's take this off of him. See how he fits on his bike, if he fits on his bike, because those are some stiff joints. Oh, where's his knife? I was talking about that little mini knife. Little itty bitty knife clips right onto his belt. I get not having a scabbard, because then when you put it in his hand, it wouldn't look right. But to me, I don't know if I would have included it. I know it's part of the game, but seeing the knife on his leg like that without a case kind of, again, suspension of disbelief. You know, it's, it's, what, you know, it's what you're into, I guess. It's how you like your, your fiction. Oof, see, I look like I broke his arm, don't I? Oof, that's rough. Well... What we got? There we go. Call of Duty. Mountain Recon. Set number 06812. 62 pieces. 10 plus rating. This 43 year old is going to tell you have a 10 year old around to help because it'd probably go easier with him than it will without him. 
I'm going to try to clip my hands on this motorcycle here, on this uh, snowcat here. I keep calling it a bike. Why do I keep calling it a bike, guys? Somebody help me. See, I got to tell you. You can see what I'm doing. Oh, see what they did? If you look in the picture. Notice he's not actually on the bike, is he? He's just kind of standing there. We're going to see if he'll stop. Because on my shelf, I want him to look like he's actually driving it. Oh, okay, that works. Check his knee in a touch, bring his arm up. Give me that automatic weapon, because God knows when you're riding, when you're chasing James Bond down the snowy mountain, you got to have your machine gun out. Everybody knows that. Nope, see? I don't know. This is going to be interesting, to say the least. <laughs> Again, your thoughts, your concerns, your questions, all welcome. I like the set. I'm not going to say it's the perfect set. I like it. I like it a lot. i got to look into the rest of the line. It's definitely going to look cool on my in my display case. I don't know how much play I'd get out of it. It seems to be a little iffy on the interactivity part, but it looks good. Um, did you buy one? Have you seen one? Did you get to Comic-Con? Did you, did you beg one from someone like I did? <laughs> if so, please let us know. And once again, this is Chuck Suffle from whatyoureading.com with a Megablocks toy review for alternativeminds.com. Enjoy your day and I. Thank you for watching.